next topic in unit 2 is sensing types and sensor considerations we will see sensing types sensing is broadly divided into four different categories based on the nature of environment being sensed and the physical sensors which are being used to do so so based on that first type is scalar sensing multimedia sensing hybrid sensing and virtual sensing first one is scalar sensing scalar sensing means it is measuring the changes in the values over time to understand the features better so this type of scalar sensing can be applied to the quantities like temperature current pressure humidity etc and the way when it is measuring the changes in the values over the time it will not consider spatial spatial values next type is multimedia so before that if you see the example of scalar sensing this is the environment in which we are keeping a temperature sensor and then you are having a uh, sensor to detect the fire suppose temperature sensor is going on sensing the temperature of this particular environment if in this environment there is a fire because of this fire there will be increase in the temperature so the changes in the values in the particular environment are been sensed by the particular sensor in this diagram we are taking it as a temperature sensor so basically scalar sensing means it is going to measure the changes in that particular environment over the time next type is multimedia sensing multimedia sensing will detect uh, spatial as well as temporal changes in the environment that means it will consider magnitude as well as directions so the quantities such as images direction flow speed acceleration etc can be sensed by multimedia sensors so the sensing measurements for this particular multimedia sensors are called as vector sensors if you take the example here same thing in one environment we are placing a camera sensor uh, here you can also check the image what is the image size direction of the image flow of the image uh, instead of only the scalar values it will also calculate the vector values that is the meaning of multimedia sensing next type is hybrid sensing hybrid sensing means combination of scalar as well as vector so here if you take the example of agriculture agriculture when we are placing the sensor in the underground the sensor we are placing can be a soil moisture sensor to detect the moisture in the soil or the temperature in the soil so sometimes here what happens there, there can be need to calculate the scalar values as well as vector values basically we are going to put the soil moisture sensor and temperature sensor for us to see the plant health so these are the not only considerations there may there may be some other considerations where we can check the plant health to see that we are placing an additional sensor called as camera sensor this camera sensor will determine the condition of the plant by color of the plants by identifying the color of the leaf it will detect the health of the plant that means here we are trying to say we are not only calculating the scalar values but also vector values by placing the both the sensor this is the scalar sensor and this is the vector sensor temperature sensor as well as camera sensor both are placed in one environment and we are trying to detect whether there is any fire attack in wildlife monitoring so both are placed in one particular environment we call it as hybrid sensing the last one is virtual sensing virtual sensing again we are taking the example of agriculture farm field here we are considering two fields farm a farm b farm a consists physically you have all the sensors placed in farm a but in farm b there are no uh, sensors placed in it but both fields are near and because there is no much variation in the conditions of both fields whatever the sensors we are placed in farm a out of this we are going to use an iot infrastructure and collect all the uh, values like soil moisturizer sensor temperature sensor different types of sensor it is giving the data we are collecting it and upon collecting the values uh, what are the regard regarding appropriate the actions that you can perform like watering the plant for giving fertilizer or pesticides all these are suggestions given by iot infrastructure by the sensors which are placed in form a
and this advice whatever is given to farm A, we can give it to farm B for maintaining his crops. In short, what we are trying to tell uh, in, sen in farm A, all the sensors are physically placed where we are measuring and taking the decisions. But farm field does not have any sensors, we are using the virtual data from sensor A. This is the meaning of virtual sensor. Example of virtual sensing is, this is one of the environment where we are trying to detect the fire in the wildlife monitoring. So, we have two sensors S1, S2. In S1, we have a temperature sensor, S2, S3, we have a temperature sensor and you have three events, event E1, E2, E3. But here in E2, in E2, you do not have any particular dedicated sensor placed here for monitoring. But however, through the, through the suggestions given from sensor 1 and sensor 3, Three, so uh, e, this E2 event can also occur based on the uh, advice given by these two sensors. That means physically in E1, E2 the sensors are present, but in E2 there is no physical sensor. Virtual data is being taken from sensor 1 and sensor 2 and performing the actions which are required for that particular event. That is called as virtual sensing. So, these are the four different types of sensing. Next, next topic is sensor considerations. So, here the choice of choosing the sensors in IoT sensor node is critical. That means, what are the sensor we are choosing to develop IoT infrastructure or IoT deployment, they can either make or break the feasibility of IoT deployment. So, how we choose is the major factors that influence the choice of sensors in IoT based sensing solutions are these sensing range, accuracy and precision, energy and device size. First sensing range, sensing range means here the sensing range of a sensor node defines detection fidelity of that node, meaning is that detection of accuracy of that particular sensor node depends upon its sensing range. Example we will see here, you have two different approaches, just for knowing sake we are seeing these two different approaches, in detail we are not learning these techniques. So, typical approaches to optimize this sensing range are fixed K coverage and dynamic K coverage. In fixed K coverage, you require large number of sensors, so there may be a problem of overlapping of sensor ranges. Next type is dynamic K coverage, so this will incorporate mobile sensor no nodes, but it is a costlier solution which cannot be deployed in all the different operational areas. So, example of sensing range is if you take proximity sensor, the sensing range is just a couple of meters. In the same way in contrast if you take a camera sensor, sensing range may vary 10 meters to 100 meters. So, how the, the detection accuracy of the range of that particular sensor, we are calling it as a sensing range. It differs from sensor to sensor. So, the complexity of the sensor and the sensing range, if it is increasing, that means it directly affects the cost. Cost will also increase of that particular sensor. Next type of consideration is accuracy and precision. So, these are the two measurements which are provided by the sensors to decide what is the operation that you need to take for particular function process. So, here different types of sensors can be there like off, off the shelf consumer sensors. These sensors are cheap sensors, but they lack precision and they are only suitable for some basic operations. On the other side, you have industrial sensors which are very expensive, but they provide high accuracy and precision which are very ideal for some such demanding conditions. So, there can be different types of sensors. Next energy, energy is the energy consumption of the sensing solution will determine what is the lifespan of that particular sensor and what is the deployment cost of that particular sensor. So, if the sensor nodes are energy inefficient means what maintenance becomes very costly and the deployment will become infeasible because they are energy inefficient. So, next is device size, size means what is the size of the temp, uh, that particular sensor and what is the area that it is taking. So, in modern IIT applications, uh, many of us will, uh, will be uh, using small sensing solutions which are very preferable like if you are using large sensors, it will increase the cost and they are very energy efficient. 
but here variable sensors gain more popularity why because of their small size and energy efficiency which can be integrated in everyday attire everyday life we can use the variable sensors because their size is small those are very popular so these are the different types of considerations where you can select some sensor to deploy any iot infrastructures